name is Grand Family. We're coming welcome back to another video with me. Uh, today, what we doing, man, we finna finally upgrade the sound system on the Corvette. Now, the reason I was gonna do an all Memphis system, but then it just... No. <laughs> it's, it's, it's some detail behind it. I'm not gonna get into it right now. But uh, as you see from the thumbnail, I got two. Uh, what did I get? I'm gonna give you the part number and stuff as soon as I get back to the house. Right now, I'm heading up the auto zone because I gotta get a. I'm getting another amp kit. That way I can run the six by nines in the back on their own independent amp with the soul for this back there already. And there, damn. And that shit, that, that shit hit out a lot. So with that being said, let me run up in the auto zone right here. I just pulled up. Well, I ain't there yet, but I'm getting ready to turn in the parking lot. Grab this amp kit and man. Gonna go from there. I see y'all back at the house. Man, so somehow I just recorded the unboxing of the six by nines. Fucking upside down. So let's do this over again. And let me show y'all. I got power cool six six by nines for the, the back. I'm getting rid of this bow system bullshit. They don't even work. They're getting their own independent amp hooked up to these. I might just run them off the amp that I'm running a sub off just because it's already hooked up back there. Uh, part of them for these is EF694. Uh, supposed to be rated at 800 watts. I seriously doubt it. With a magnet like that. So. And they came with the nice little grill. That should be nice to cover it up. Like that. What? Well, I might use the factory cover-ups. Sit it down there. This is what I want the auto zone for. A nice set of RCAs and some speaker wires to hook the 6 by 9s up to the JBM that I got in there. I don't only think y'all know that I got a soil for. I got a, a Memphis soil. I'm not sure if it's a 10 or 8, but it's in there. I bought this second hand, so it's going to be replaced soon, too, now that I'm not doing the all Memphis system. CD six and a half. Let me show y'all part number six and a half. EF sixty C, and they come with tweeters six and a half and the little. I think you call. I think they're like little crossovers. We're gonna see where they are. Oh wow! Yeah, it's got some little weight to it. Got that mid-range base look to it. Uh, kind of bent terminal coming in. I guess they did that. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna use those over the factory speaker. Uh, rest of the wiring and a little crossover amp. Let's unbox one of these. Tweeter, woofer, power in and out, which is gonna be the door speaker, you know. Not so bad. So I think first what we're gonna hook up, we're gonna uh, hook up the door speaker. No, we're gonna hook up the six by nine first since the door speaker's already work. Uh what's in here now? It's trash uh pioneers. And they're like Six by fives, I believe. So if it snatch those out, well, I'm not. I'm not gonna snatch them out now. I'm gonna do the six by nines first, since I already got the trunk hatch open. All right, so I got this one side in. Now I'm better get to do the side over there. Now, when you're doing, if somebody else got a C4 Corvette and they're doing this too, and I'm pretty sure a lot of old Corvettes are like this, they got this bow system in it. Uh, you have to pull out this whole plastic tray. And uh, it's gonna be a bitch. It be, you probably be out pulling the whole carpet out. But uh, the speakers over there somewhere in the box. This is the box, the little speaker box that it sits in. So that's the only way you're gonna baby get that out. So I'm gonna go to the other side and do that side. Excuse me. And we're gonna wire it up to this amplifier and see how it sounds like. If it's too powerful, I'm gonna unplug it and uh, use 
this guy, this little 200 watt guy, into the other one get here. All right, so I got the six by nine hooked up. I got the key and ignition on. The radio is turned on. I'm gonna have to replace this radio too. That's coming soon. I want to see if I can stick a double D in here. So uh, let's see what we get. It's the phone, that's the phone. Uh, I hate this court, y'all. So you heard the last tip, but speakers weren't putting out on my face for some reason. I think it's something wrong with that amp. So I'm, I'm glad I'm switching the amp out. But the amp, I got the other amp that I just showed, got a little red 200 watt amp on there. And I, I can, I'm gonna pick a good song so y'all can really hear it. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, you got an ad. Come on now. clip I remember recording was putting the six by nines in and wiring up the amp but well, both amps are wired up still uh as you see it's still spaghetti right now I gotta go through and clean everything up but that'll be after the stall is completely done what we're gonna do now I'm gonna get the uh six and halves and get them mounted into the door so I got all this exposed and why I got this door panel off, I'm going to try and do something with this. So, the door panel I'm going to be back on today. Because uh, this one's pretty fucked up. I don't know if that one's on this side it's like this. It looks like it's getting like this. So, that one's going to be the same way. So, I'm going to hook this door up. And uh, we're going to see how it sounds. This probably be the last clip of this video. I'm going to do that one off, you know. Cause I want to do something with this so this door panel and the target hood I got a video coming up with those so we're gonna try and uh, do something like that but uh let's get the six by nine not six by nine six and a half not bad y'all you have to see that or not a lot of guys in the group said six by nine six by five just bowed up uh I mean it can but I, to do this perfect, I have to open the hole up some more. Most definitely this top lip right here. They feel like this was in the way. Maybe I can go in and under. Yeah, that'll be it right there. And just screw it in and we're good. So let's knock that out real quick. So, <clears throat> so real quick. I just came up with the perfect little idea. Uh, since this radio is gonna replace, be replaced, and uh, only speakers, only wires that I'm using are for the front door speakers. Everything else is getting deleted except the power, the ground, and the accessory wire. That's power to cut the radio on accessory to the to remember the time and mama displays and shit, and the amp wire, which I still gotta hook up. So these wires that I don't know what the fuck is going to getting cut. 
the speaker wires to go to the back are getting cut uh, whatever else that I feel like I'm not gonna use is getting cut then everything else is getting zip tied and put in place I already got this one box hooked up but I thought it was on this side but it was actually that side uh, it sound good uh, with the pioneer that's in there so and I got the one of the tweeters hooked up too. I'm go, I'm not sure where my mouth the tweeters at, but they're gonna be somewhere, probably here pointing down or here pointing there. Well, I don't know yet. Probably even put them one here, one there, some shit like that. Uh, we'll see. Okay, let me show y'all how it sound with just this mid and the tweeters. And that's still the Pioneer speaker, but the box are hooked up right here, and they're gonna be tucked inside the dash. Uh, this is just those two in the sweet tweeters. Then that was not even in door yet, so it's not as loud as it possibly would be. So I'm letting y'all know I'm probably gonna have to get add another slow woofle or get that one another box made because with that amp hooked up and those six by nines working, I ain't gonna ever hear no bass. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Kyle Kusi, you got me. I'm impressed. All right, here's the semi-finished product. I still gotta change out that one speaker. But man, do I tell you, I'm amazed with how this outcome has come. So, so far, let me explain the rundown of the system. It's a VR 200 watt two channel amp going to the six by nines, the Memphis 10 or eight, I'm not sure yet. It's powered by the 600 watt JBL. And the door speakers, it is, uh, I lost the box. It's six and a half components. They are EF60C, came with the own little power components to uh, help power them. They came with two little tweeters right there. And uh, it gonna speak for itself. Cause when you I ain't got the car running, so the, the amp keep cutting out for the two. So this is kind of a bad demonstration, so I'm gonna let the battery charge up and crank it up. And that'll be, I, I know what, I'll just do a whole nother video for that and let y'all see the full run that after I clean everything up. Cause you see, it's still spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. So man, I thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for more Corvette content because I promise you I got a lot more coming. I'm still waiting on my truck to get out the shop. When they get out the shop, it's gonna be truck content, Corvette content. Truck, court, well, it, it, I don't know how it's gonna go, but you're gonna get content from both of them. But after you see this video, I'm, I might do a video on the Challenger. Uh, I might not, I just wanna get this out of the way. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video. Hopefully I had a truck back. I guess you'll see whenever it comes back. But uh, I'm going to see right here and then finish enjoying the sound system a little bit more. You guys enjoy your day. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.